What's up Hoopers, this is Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we're going to be talking about reading and reacting against help defense. Me and my buddy, we've got you covered. Let's have a look. Alright guys, well today's video is all about just reading and reacting against defenders. So I'm simply just going to talk about a couple of scenarios to help you think about things that you should be looking for when playing against defenders in certain situations. So the first scenario we are going to be talking about is reading a help defender that's guarding your corner man. So right now what we're saying is my buddy right here is on defense and we have an offensive player or a teammate of ours here in the corner. Somebody who can shoot the ball or just a player over there who's going to be effective if we pass it to them. Now, here's a couple of things I want you to think about when reading this scenario. Number one, you always have to have the mentality that when you attack the basket, you go to score. That was one of the biggest things that I learned throughout my entire college career, that anytime I have the ball and anytime I'm in an attack mode, I have to go to score, whether I actually do score and make a play to shoot the basketball, or even if I do make a pass, because if I go to score, and that's gonna make the defenders react, which is then gonna allow me to make plays for my teammates. So I have to have that mentality. So let's say I just go in here and all I'm thinking about is simply making this pass here. This defender can jump the passing lane, steal it, go to the other end and score, right? But if I go in here like this with my head squared on, I'm going to make a play, I'm going to score, and I get in here and now this help defender comes, now I'm able to make a later pass where now I've got the defense all the way in and I'm able to make a kick out pass to my teammate. All right, so now let's talk about just a couple of things that you should be reading. Number one, if this defender is obviously out in this position here guarding our teammate, then your job is to beat your defender, boom, get to the basket, maybe just to keep him honest is to throw a ball fake at him, get to the rim and score. But if they're hugging against that corner man, then what you can do is drive, get to the basket, use that opportunity to score the basketball because they're giving you that free open lane. All right, so the next part we're talking about is, so we just established that the defender was out there hugging against our, our offensive player, not in the way. Now, let's say they're in here in the proper positioning as a defensive player, you're in between the ball and your man, so they're here. Now, how are we gonna read this? Well, number one, have that mentality to go in here to score making the defense react. If they come in here and they just kind of flinch at you, you've got to continue on. Because as a defender, what I want you to do, oops, sorry buddy, if we get here and I just go like this and you make that pass, I'm already in your way, I'm deflecting it, I can make a play on it and I can steal the basketball. So if I'm going in here like this and now I get them off balance, maybe I give them a pass fake and they turn their back to me, I'm able to score. Now if I drive and that defender comes in, that's when I want to make that pass. So if I get that defender to bite in, to suck in, boom, they come in, they try to stop my drive. That's when I can make that pass out and that allows my shooter to get a free uncontested shot. So just being able to read the help defense in the corner. Are they hugging your, are they hugging your teammate? Are they in help? Are they stunning at you? Are they trying to cut you off? Are all different types of reads and reactions that you're gonna have to make in order to be successful in this type of situation. All right, now here's the second scenario. Let's say we're getting into the middle of the paint. We've penetrated against the defense. Now we're getting in this area. Now we have to be able to read the help of a big man who's coming over. So we're gonna say that we have a player on our team right here on the block waiting for the ball. Okay, again, the biggest thing that you have to do when attacking the defense is go to score. Put the pressure on the defense rather than allowing them to put the pressure on you. So if I'm attacking here and my man is right there on the block, and that's where the defender's in, the defender is, it's gonna be hard for me to make a pass. So if I'm just telegraphing and if I'm getting in here and I'm looking at this defender and they're messing with me and I make that pass, it's a steal. So I've got to attack, get in this position to try to go score. Now, if I leave the ground, if I go up to score, now the shot blocker comes, that's when I can make a pass late. So let's say they started here, now the shot blocker comes over, I get up in the air, now I can wrap the ball around the defender to get it to my teammate or I can just give a quick shovel pass if they come over late before I take off to score. So that's the first way. Again, you got to go to score, make these defenders play you in order to make the correct play and reaction. All right, now we're still in the same scenario where we got to make a play when we get into the middle of the defense. So now if the defender steps up, now they're in the middle of the paint, they've, they're in help, they're away from our guy. So if I get in this position here and I make this pass to my man from here, 
It's a bad decision. Why? Because it's given that defender enough time to react to either make a play on the ball or to get back into position in order to stop our teammate. So I've got to attack. The only thing that's good from this position if I throw a lob over the defender to my player, right? But if the closer I get, and the closer I get to this defender, I've got to make them make a decision. And whatever decision they make, I'm going against it. So if they come to me, so if I'm driving and now this defender comes up even higher, boom, that's the easy play. They come up and they play me, I just drop it off to my teammate. Now if they just sit back here, again, I can go to a position where I, they drop back, they drop back, okay, boom, I get to the rim. Or like we just talked about, we get in here, we leave the ground, we give a nice little wraparound pass. So you have to read what this defender's doing. Are they coming up to you where now you can make that easy pass? Or are they playing in between, playing in between, and then all of a sudden they back up to their man because they think you're covered and you can go score. But you have to be able to read. Reading reaction is all about being steps ahead of the defender, being able to read what they're going to do, being able to read what you want to do rather than allowing the defense to dictate because if the defense dictates what's going on, you're gonna be in a tough position to make a play. But if you're dictating everything that's going on, the plays that you're trying to make, if you can envision what you're trying to do before you actually do it, you're gonna be more successful. So being able to read and react against a big man is important, especially when attacking the rim. But the biggest thing again, and the biggest thing you have to take away from this video is going to score. Having that mentality will help you make plays for yourself at the rim or to get your jumper or to make plays for your teammates around you. All right, this is the last just quick scenario that I want to talk about. Anytime you're playing in a pick and roll situation, I'm speaking for the guards out there right now. When you're playing in a pick and roll situation, your read is, is number one, what your defender does. But right now I want to talk about what the, the, the defender who's guarding the screener is going to do. All right, so let's say we're getting our screen set right here, right at this red line. We're coming off, we're ready to make a play. So you have to read what the screener's defender is doing. Are they up? Okay, if they're up on the screen, then that's when you want to be in this position where you might want to hold them here, hold them here, and then you might be able to make a late pass around them. Or you hold them here, and then the second they turn their back, you can go right off of them, right by them, and score. Now, if they're flat, meaning they're back here, or they're playing back, they're in a cover situation, where you can come off this screen, and now you can attack them, that's great as well. So being able to read the screen is important, but again, like I said, you have to be steps ahead. So for you guards up there, I know this is just a quick little situation that I'm talking about, but anytime you're in a pick and roll situation as a guard, number one, your first read is obviously what your defender's doing. Are they going over? Are they going under? Are they trying to trap you off the screen? Things like that. But again, you have to be steps ahead. So reading what this secondary defender is, okay? Boom, I'm in the screen. Okay, I can feel that my man is going over the screen and trying to chase me. But what is this defender doing? Are they gonna hedge out? Are they sitting back? Are they gonna trap me? If I know what's coming, then I can make the play before they even get to me. If they're coming to trap me and I see that, I can make a quick pass out. We have the advantage. So again, be steps ahead, right? That's number one. Be steps ahead, know what you're trying to accomplish before you actually do so, and have that scores mentality. Go to attack every single time. Those are a few key points that's gonna allow you to be successful in any type of read and react situation against defenders. Think that was a good video? Yeah? I think so too. You just learned a little bit about read and react basketball and a couple different situations that you're gonna be faced in any time in the game, whether it's corner help defense, help inside the paint, or if you're a guard in the pick and roll situation. I think they should subscribe. Subscribe? Yeah. You guys should definitely subscribe to our channel because every single week we're releasing great content that's gonna allow you to improve your game. So make sure that you subscribe to our channel and join Think Pro Basketball to help take your game to the next level. That's what we're trying to do, isn't it? Yes, provide the opportunity, the knowledge, skills, and drills to help you take your game to the next level. And we wanna help you every single step of the way. So make sure you subscribe and check out all the great content that we have to offer. So until I see you again next time, hit the gym, hit the court, Think about read and react basketball. So the next time you're in a workout or practice or a game, think about these situations we've talked about today in order to be ready and prepared for it. So again, number one, thank you to Buddy over here for helping us today. And number two, thank you for joining me. And until I see you again next time, remember to always keep hooping.